What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today we're gonna to talk about lighting channels, AKA light linking. Now I'm inside of Unreal Engine 5 right now. And as you can see, my scene is unlit, but that's just because I wanted to show you guys what we're working with right here. So I have this model that I actually got off of Sketchfab. I'll leave a link down below in case anybody wants to check it out. But if I come over here to lit mode, you can see that my scene is completely black. Now I did this because I wanted to show you guys how we could sell out lights to only affect certain objects in which I'm gonna show you how we could do right now. So over on my right hand side in Outliner, I'm actually gonna look at my cube, which is the ground right here. Let me actually go back down lit. You can just see I have a cube as a ground plane. And then if I come down here into my search bar, I'm gonna type in channel. And now you can see under lighting, we have lighting channels. Now, if I want to make it so, let's say that this is lighting channel two and anything that's connected to lighting channel two will affect this. And so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I come right here, I'm going to click on two. I'm going to turn off channel zero and then let me actually come back over here to lit. And then I'm going to come over here to my rectangular light. I just have it labeled number one. And by default, everything's going to be on channel zero. But if I actually deselect this and then come down here to channel two, if I turn this light on, now you can see that it's actually displaying only on the ground plane, but not our model right here. Now, if I click on my model right here and I still have channel selected right here, you can see that I have this one actually selected to channel number one. So if I come back down here to my light, let me turn it off on channel two, turn on a channel one. Now it's only affecting the model, but nothing else around it. Now you can mix and match these any way that you want. So let me show you how we could do that. Now, if I go back to my ground plane and actually select channel number one, now it's starting to get some of that blue light and you can have multiple of these selected too. So you can see how we can mix and match these and how you can make your scene very particular to your lighting situation. So let me come over here and actually come to my second rectangular light and I'm just gonna reset this right here and I'm gonna turn this on and you can see now it's not affecting anything. Like if I come over here, you can see that my lighting channel is actually red for this one right here. So I'm gonna come back here, type in channel. Let's deselect zero, click on one. And now it's hitting the objects that have channel selection one selected. So if I come back here to my 8-bit robot, you can see I have channel one, come to my cube, channel one, turn this off, make it channel two. And now only the robot is selected with channel one, which both of my lights are selected on as well. So you can see the power of this having the light selecting only the stuff that you want lit. The only caveat with this is there's only three lighting channels right now. Hopefully they expand on it, but let me show you the documentation in case you guys wanna read into this a little bit more. Now this is the official Unreal Engine documentation on the lighting channels. So if you scroll down, it's just gonna give you some use cases. It's gonna show you some limitations and stuff as well. Like we were saying, you only have three lighting channels, which I mean, it could use a lot more, but this will do for right now. And then another thing is you wanna make sure that your lighting is on movable. Now this is only gonna work with stationary and movable lights. It's not gonna work with static lights at all. So let's jump into Unreal Engine 5 where I can show you exactly where you can find that at in case you're new to Unreal Engine 5. So right here, we have one of my lights selected. And if I come over here, let me actually pull this up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. Right here under mobility, you can see right now it's on stationary. So you want it on stationary or movable, which is gonna give us totally dynamic lighting. But if you do static, you can see it actually turned it off. And so if I come over here, the mobility is on, static, it turns it off. So you wanna make sure that you have at least one of these two selected and you should be good to go. Now that's all there is to it. I posted this up online yesterday. A lot of people said they were interested in this technique. So I did this for you guys. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It helps me out greatly. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.